All right, all right, who wants to see me clean the new Timbo? Let's get that done. Let's go. So here's what you're gonna need. Some of the Traeger All Natural Cleaner. Get yourself a beautiful cigar. Got myself one from Sir Louis and a beer. Studweiser, of course. You pick yours, I'll pick mine. Look how dirty this some bitch is. This is a 10 hour brisket cook. And then I also threw some cookies on and baked them as well. So first things first, we're gonna spray it down with that cleaner. And I spray it quite heavily all over the place. It's all stainless on the inside. This is a natural cleaner, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not abrasive. It's it's fantastic stuff. I'm sure there's other brands, but I do honestly prefer this. Maybe a little biased, but I love this Traeger cleaner. So we'll spray it on there. We're going to let that soak for at least five minutes. I did the whole thing from the drip tray to the back to the grates, all of them. While we wait, we hydrate. Get yourself a Studweiser. Crack it open. Have yourselves a sip. Cheers, guys. Thanks for tuning into this one. Pretty basic cleaning video. I'll have more in depth as we go. All right, it's been five, 10 minutes. For the top two racks, we're just gonna wipe them down with a, um, in on that rag is just water and a bit of real mild soap. And uh, just wiping them down comes off really clean, really easy. Of course, I haven't really had a lot of stuff on the top. So the bottom though is where the brisket sat, pretty rough. I got myself one of these SOS pads and then uh, just sprayed some more cleaner on there right before I did it and look how clean it gets it. So I'm telling you that cleaner is the bee's knees. Don't forget to do the backside, flip them over and do the exact same thing. And then we're gonna set them aside, pull off that cap from the grease, um, the little grease spout in the bottom there where all the grease goes down, spray the heck out of it. And then I soaked it in really, really, really hot water. And then uh, we're just gonna scrub a dub with that SOS pad and uh, we're gonna get her super clean. I'll tell you that cleaner is amazing. Just water and that natural cleaner, look at that, it shines, unbelievable. Take those grates out, now we're gonna get to the bottom. Of course, it's been basically soaked in that cleaner the whole time as it drips down. Spray it a little bit more on and then use your elbow grease. Right back there is all the air lines. You don't wanna cover those up. So uh, that's why there's no drip tray liners for this model. So just slosh everything down into the grease hole. And look at that, that was about five minutes max. Cleaned it up real good. You could even clean it better if you want, but honestly, it doesn't take much. Now we're gonna work on the backside and the sides of the grill. For this, it's been sprayed down a couple times just throughout here, just a wet rag and it comes right off. Cleans up like new, super simple. Look at that, voila, beautiful. All right, so now we're going to, uh, we're gonna take the bottom off just to show you here um, exactly where all the ash goes. So look at that, There, there's not much ash. That was 12 hours of cooking between the baking I did and the brisket, so. Pretty sweet, you don't have to vacuum this one near as much. When you get underneath, you get to see the brand new. Um, we got the grease and the ash system all in one, pretty slick setup. I'm super happy Traeger did this. Um, that's after, like I said, 10 to 12 hours of cooking. Probably, I don't know, 20% full maybe. It's just so easy, um, better than out the side system. This, this is a great innovation, I'm really happy with it. Now we're just gonna put it all back together. First things first, the cap. Um, that we cleaned up, put that right back on. And then the bottom layer of grates. Then we're gonna throw on the top layer of grates. We're gonna build it back the exact opposite of the way we took it apart. Really basic, simple cleaning. Um, yeah, this new one, everything about this grill is awesome, but the cleaning is fantastic. Um, these were dirty as heck, as you saw at the start of the video. Comes out clean as a whistle. Um, super, super, super impressed with this one. Um, top rack, middle rack, pretty sweet. There's five different levels you can set them at. So slide them in wherever you want. Um, I'll be adjusting mine as I go. Lots of times I cook without them, but uh, in this video, I'll put them all back in. And they are like, look how clean they get. Like I said, they're in there for a good 10 to 12 hours. Uh, seriously, guys, one of the main features of this grill would be how easy it is to clean. I'm absolutely in love after the first couple of cooks for this Traeger Timberline XL. I, uh, I love it. Maybe biased, but I love it.